Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy your website onto Hostinger. Now, I'll be honest, I normally just use tiny.host, which is super quick and simple to use, but I'll show you Hostinger first so that we can compare the difference. So this is what the Hostinger dashboard looks like. I've just signed in and I've also paid with my credit card. These guys don't have a free tier available, but once we're here, if we wanna host our website, I'm gonna to go to File Manager, click in there, and then once this loads, We'll give it a second, maybe a few extra seconds. There we go. Once this loads, you'll see we have the public underscore HTML and the do not upload here. So we'll follow the instructions. Let's not upload here. You wanna click on the public HTML, maybe double click, and then you wanna drag your website files into this section. So I'm gonna go into Finder. So I'm gonna drag in my index, wait for that to upload. And I'm also gonna drag in my brain. So this can be a little tough if you have a lot of files, but you can see you can just drag in files and folders to make that work. And that's all uploaded. So if we go back to the dashboard, you can see this is the default website they've given us. And if I click that, and again, wait for it to load, here's our website. So it's a simple calculator. You can play around with it or the JavaScript and HTML is working great. So that is how you upload to Hostinger. Now I'll show you my preferred method to host my websites, which is tiny.host. This is what their dashboard looks like. I've just signed in and I didn't need a credit card to get started. They do have a free tier, which is awesome. So I'm gonna click upload and straight away, you can see they support HTML, PDFs, PHP, zip files, and they also have a few examples as well. So if you saw from before, I do have a few files. So what I'm gonna do is select all of them and create a zip file. Then I'm gonna get this zip file and drag it into the upload section. Now I can choose a link name. It's not just a default one like we saw earlier. So I'm gonna call it my calculator. And we can also add a custom domain, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. There's also some access gate restrictions we could have. So we could make it password protected or capture emails, but I'm gonna leave this all blank. I'm just gonna click publish and you're gonna see this is super quick. It's actually ready already. So let me click that link, go to my new website, and now here's the calculator. Just like we saw from before, all the JavaScript is working great. So that is how you upload your website using Tiny. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more tips from us, please remember to like and subscribe. With that all said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.